हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे लेट अस स्टडी चैप्टर वन हाउ कंप्यूटर वर्क्स चिल्ड्रन हैज यू नो मैन हैज क्रिएटेड मेनी थिंग्स टू मेक आर डेली लाइफ इजी एंड कंफर्टेबल लाइक द फैन व्हिच कीप्स यू कूल द लाइट व्हिच कीप्स द रूम ब्राइट एंड मेनी मोर लाइक ग्राइंडर व्हिच हेल्प्स यू helps you to grind the things faster in many things like this these are the man made things which helps us to do work are called machine so what are machines man made things which helps us to do our work are called machines machines helps us to do our work they make the work fast and easy they save our time and energy so this machine helps us helps us to do work uh, because they work it is done faster and easily and it saves the human time and energy do you know what which is the smart one of out of all the machines yes it is a computer which is the fastest among all the machines why computer is smart so let us see most of the machines can do only one kind of work for example a pressure cooker can just only cook it cannot clean your house so only one work can be done by it but computer can do different kinds of work and also at the same time so it can do many works at the same time computer can work very fast they work very fast they can store large amount of information the computer stores very, very large amount of data they give accurate results for example if you need any result a result of a student if you have scored 95% it may accurately give around 94.9 which is an accurate result so now let us see how computer works ipo cycle what is this ipo cycle let us see now the working of the computer is based on the principle of ipo cycle so computer works based on the principle of ipo cycle what does this ipo stands for ipo stands for input process output so this ipo cycle involves three main operations that is accept data it is the input accepts the data processes data and produce results it processes the data that is which you have given as an input it processes it and produces the result sends out result it gives you the output sends out the result for example you give an input as 2 plus 3 the input is 2 plus 3 it processes the input that is 2 plus 3 and produces the result it sends you out the result saying 2 plus 3 equals to 5 so first the input is sent to the computer it processes and the processed result is given you as the output next so we can see many such examples of ipo cycle in our daily life for example you give an impure water as an input to the water purifier the water purifier purifies the water and gives you the pure water as the output next example a bread you give a bread to a toaster and it toasts the bread and give you the toast as the output cotton you give a cotton to a cotton mill they produce cloth and give you the output as a cloth so can you give one example which is of ipo cycle in your daily life you can see in your home school or anywhere else yes if you give rice as an input 
to the pressure cooker it cooks the rice and gives you the output as food that is the rice it gives the cooked rice So next now let us see how the IPO cycle works in computer IPO cycle in computer input process output so the data and commands are given to the computer through keyboard or mouse this is called as input so the input is given by a comp by a keyboard or a mouse to the computer as an input the central processing unit the CPU process the input and calculates the result this is called processing the CPU process the inputs the result is given by the computer through monitor or printer this is called the output the processed result is given by the computer in the monitor or in the printer as an output for example you give the input as 5 to 5 into 2 in your key keyboard and it will be processed in the cpu 5 into 2 it will be processed and it produces a result as 10 and that is shown in the monitor printing printing on the monitor says 5 into 2 equals to 10 it shows you the output so next let us see what are all the input devices and the output devices input devices the devices which are used to give input to the computer are called input devices so to the computer from which you give the input is called the input device for example from keyboard you are giving the input so that is an input device here are some of the examples of input device a keyboard from keyboard you can give input to the computer from a mouse by clicking you can give an input from the mouse a microphone from microphone you can give an input to the computer and one more best example is the joystick that is used for used in playing your video games in from the joystick when you give input the the game has been processed next output device the devices which are used to get the output from the computer are called output device so a computer which gives the output the from the device which it gives the output is called the output device for example the monitor screen so this is an output device here are some of the examples of output devices monitor it gives the output displaying on the screen a speaker it gives you the audio sounds in the speaker so it is an output device a printer by printing on the sheet it gives you the results so it is an output device so one more example of output device is so one more example for your output device is a headphone from headphone you can hear the audio so it is also an example of output device so your homework is to name some of the input devices and output devices so please go through the topics done today and understand what a computer is thank you